We are currently generating massive data sets, so massive that without smart algorithms, we won't be able to effectively analyze them to discover patterns that could provide clues to the underlying biological processes. At the 2014 SIAM annual meeting, Bonnie Berger explained how new algorithms can be used to deal with the massive amounts of data being generated in the field of molecular biology. The data is increasing exponentially faster than computing power per dollar and faster than storage capacity. And also the internet, there's a bottleneck and we can't even transmit the data to communicate with it. So better algorithms allow you to compress the data and operate directly on the compressed data and get similar accuracy. The good news is you have a lot of data in which to look for signal. The bad news is the problems threaten to become computationally intractable due to the sheer enormity of the data. Berger discussed how the ability to efficiently analyze and compare genomic data sets, both within and between species, could lead to advances that include improved medical therapies. We're talking about terabytes of data that are being generated from genome sequencing projects, in medical genomics when we're trying to sequence an individual's genome so that we can help with therapeutics. We want to look at all these genomes and compare them so that we know how to target, let's say, a tumor for breast cancer differently than we would target something else, and also how we would target subclasses of that tumor based on differences between, let's say, my genome and someone else's. Even with the advent of exascale computing systems, which will be a thousand times more powerful than today's computers, Berger sees no end in sight to the need for better algorithms in the biological sciences. Exascale computing is not even slated to arrive till 2020 in any reasonable form. And the amount of genomic data being generated has been growing exponentially since 2004 at a rate of a factor of 10 per year. And it's only gonna get more so because the technologies are able to sequence so much more data. And we're gonna be sequencing individual cells, not just all the people in the world. So this is not dying down for a while.